I start 
started, I was doing in my own name, then I started my company in 99. I found a company, private partnership with my wife. And I've been doing reasonably well in the past, since 99. So, I think I have nothing to worry really. If I look back my past 25 years, yes, I have built nearly more than 100 buildings. Some of them are really very nice quality. So some of the buildings are well. If you look at residential buildings, uh, I don't think anybody has. I can definitely say that uh, in Chennai, in around uh, Chennai, I have done more than 100 buildings, especially bungalows. So, and I have built a couple of engineering college. All these things are. And I have done a building for an Italian consultant also. So all this, uh, some of the... In this whole process of, you know, like, you know, so that was I was telling you, like, I, I come from a family, family, like a middle class family, and my father was working as a bank manager. So business was not in my blood. I was neither trained in the... So there is nobody to tell, guide me how a business should be run, or the nuances of a business. Yeah. So all this I have to learn in a hard way. Like, so, so for future leaders, you know, they have to take the people along with them. That's more important. Whoever, wherever they are, whatever they are doing. The entire team should be you know, like made responsible. They should be respected in their company. So that's that's the only big thing. And whatever you learn, so that has to be shared to some extent at least to be shared to the people. They have to be very great. When you lead a company or a thing, you go, you have to be very really patient with the people. So you have to understand that your people's uh, problem also. You, you can't be like your own, think about your own uh, thing. That may not be a sustained, you know, like that. People will not be with you after all the time. So you should, unless you have a good people, you can't uh, run a business. You can't, have, you can't be a successful leader. You should have a good followers if you are leading a country or you should have a good people. Now Very important to people. Yes. You have to understand their uh, psychology. And, uh, if you really try to satisfy, you can't do 100%, but uh, there is a reasonably thing, but definitely you get good people. They will be with you for a good number of time. So which will put you in a higher level, which will take you to a higher place. Naturally, when they are satisfied, so that is, I think, one of the important things which I learned it in a very hard way. So, so in, in my early days, I used to not fire all the people like because they are mis make mistakes or something. But anybody is bound to make mistakes. So we have to be little patience with them and you know, teach them how why it happened and how it should be done. Right. Take them with you. Make them understand how difficult to get a job and mm -hmm. so keep talking to them. So make them understand the company now. So make them understand that unless the company grows, you can't grow. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's more important. So take them in your conversation, in your uh, growth, in your business. Take your people 